Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the calendars app and how to use settings. So we're gonna start out by looking at, again, settings are available for every app on, um, on your iPad or iPhone, and it allows you to add functionality to um, that application. So I'm gonna to go to the second page and go to my settings app, and I'm gonna tap on it, and it's gonna bring up the settings. And on the left side, I see all the different things that I can choose, and I'm gonna scroll down to mail, contacts, and calendars. For some reason, Apple has grouped all of these into one. So we're gonna go in, the first thing is mail information, then contacts, and then down at the bottom we have the calendar section, okay? Um, the first item is time zone override. And this is, um, Apple's put that on there because people travel a lot with their devices. And depending on how you travel and what you do when you travel, if you're working or if you're um, gone for a long time, you may wanna set this up differently. Um, what we have set on, and this is a great standard way to do it, is turn on time zone override and turn the time zone on to where you live. That will mean that all the events that you put in will be under the time zone of where you are, okay? Where you live, mm -hmm. primarily. If you travel a lot for work, check out our tech bit on time zones and calendars because it can be quite confusing. The next thing we'll look at is alternate calendars. I have it off, but if you spoke um, or read Chinese, Hebrew, or Islamic, you could turn these on and it will make the calendars um, look in that country's way Language, of looking. Language, yeah. Yep. Um, we have week numbers. This will just put a little number at the top of every week. So if you're a person who looks at how many weeks we are into the year or yep. how many weeks we have left, you can turn that on. Uh, show invitee decline. So if you if you do a little bit of inviting of people to events, it's good to see the declines. But if you're um, doing this for work and you're inviting hundreds and hundreds of people to all kinds of different events, you might want to turn that off because you're just going to be deluged with um, it notifying you of those. Okay. And then we have um, syncing, and this will sync. Um, we have it set up to all events. Um, you can tap on that and you can just have it sync only the past few months or so. Um, I just like to have all mine synced. So yeah, that's it doesn't it. take up very much room. No, so. right. Um, default alert times, we tap on that. Um, that'll, so when you add a birthday, you could set it to always give you a, an alert a week before, things like that. You can kind of customize your alerts the way that they're going to come up as the first, you know, the way that they're set up when you do a new one. Right. And then start week on. This is always the great debate. Is it Sunday or Monday? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it starts on Sunday and then sometimes I feel like it starts it on Monday. It does start on Monday, but we're so programmed I to know. see Sunday at the beginning. I know. So I guess... The default, you can see United States, is Sunday. So yeah. if yeah. you want to start your week on Friday, go, go ahead. Go for it. Yeah, have at it. And then the default calendar, um, this will, you could tap on that and pick any of the calendars that you have set up. Um, you know, usually your default is your own personal one. Yep. And so that is it for uh, the settings for calendar. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.